Clarence, have you speaking to Chelsea manager Robbie since after late win today against Farnborough, Robbie? Another cracking game at Melbourne. Yeah, another late win. <laughs> it's a, obviously it's a good thing. We've we've scored so many late goals this season. Um, it's a really good trait to have. But obviously, I'd rather we didn't have to do that. And we've got to get out of the habit of conceding with the opposition's first foray into our half, um, which we did again today. But there's some some spirit in that dressing room. Some spirit. They keep going. You know, they're out on their feet at the end. It's, it's obviously a, a hot day for a change, and that that gets well. That made it tough. You know, you need to acclimatise to that type of weather, um, and it's it really does drain you when that first time you have like hot weather like that. It does drain you, and for them to keep going right to the very end, and um, subs coming on, having to come on in the first half, then at half time, and then. Simeon comes on and, and sets up the, the winner. Um, yeah, a, a really good day, a really good entertaining day, I imagine, for everyone that came. So I'm so pleased. A great start to the Easter weekend. Yeah, and their, their centre forward, Mason Bloomfield, we had him uh, sort of many years ago when he was very young, but he's, he was quite a handful for Farnborough today, so and he got two goals. But we, Michael Felivi at the other end as well was as, as lethal as him. Yeah, he, he, he was. Um, you know, we prepared for him last night, really, and we prepared for the long throws last night. But sometimes it just doesn't go your way, and um, his goal to touch and swivel and, and find the top corner was was really good. Um, and then we went down the other end and almost a carbon copy with Michael. And the first two goals actually were, were very similar. They were second phases from set pieces. We obviously think, well, we obviously know we we should do better um, for their first goal. And I thought second. Uh, our first goal, sorry, was um, was really good. We, like, we stayed in there. We didn't retreat, you know, just because the first phase didn't work. We we didn't retreat back to our goal, waiting for a counter attack. We stayed we stayed high and ball come back in the box. And Dave attacked it ever so well. First of the season for Dave. You know, <laughs> we've been asking him to score, <laughs> and so really pleased for him. But yeah, Farnborough are a tough team. You now you can, I can see why. They don't concede many. I can see why they're up there in the table. They really do make it difficult for you. And it was a it was a tough afternoon, first and foremost because of them, um, and how they set about it. But also the the conditions and obviously the, the pitch dried out was a bit bubbly. So in terms of like slick passing movement, it just wasn't one of those games. It probably wasn't a um, a great football spectacle. The game, but there was certainly a lot of fight, a lot of endeavour from both sides, and I'm just thankful that we came out on top. And we had a couple of injuries in the first half to deal with two centre backs going off, Frankie Terry and, and Adair Luwa, and obviously their player John Oyanuga with quite a serious injury as well. Is there any update on those players and how they are? Uh, Frankie looks a bad one. Instantly he knew that it was a bad one. Um, uh, uh, Colchester will get him scanned, I think, and see the extent of it, but it's his knee. Um, my first thoughts are that that would be the end of his season, but obviously we can hope. Um, and then Ade, obviously it was the clash with their player. Their player came off worse, but it did affect Ade. And um, yeah, half time, I think the, the ambulance people were here and they they looked at their player um, and then had a quick check of Ade, and, and they basically made the call that Ade had to come off. So um, uh, yeah, they won't be available. Ade won't be available for Monday. Frankie obviously won't. And um, We'll see how Ade is. I think he's, if he's seven days free of symptoms, he can be OK. And I think he's he said he's symptom-free now. So um, we're hopeful that Ade will be OK for next next Saturday. Yeah, and you had sort of a couple of players outside the squad who are fit as well, Jazzy and, and Harry Lodovicus. So you have got the, the options at this stage of the season to bring those players in when the deadline's passed. Yeah, it was really tough today to, to leave both of them out. You know, Harry's coming back from injury, still feeling his way back in, but we know what... A weapon he could be with his presence up the top, so um, we just want him to get back up to match sharpness as quick as possible and and be an asset for us. Um, and then Jazzy, obviously, it was, it was really harsh to leave Jazzy out against Worthing because he played so well against Concord, and then obviously it was away for Dartford and just the makeup of the bench. We only wanted one defender on there, and 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 went with Cam. So. Listen, they, both of those two have played a massive part and will continue to play a massive part from now until until we stop this season. Um, we're still uh, fourth. I think we're 11 on points of Dartford and Oxford now. We've got to play Oxford on Monday. Is so they sort of getting the playoffs first of all or do you just want to finish as high as possible and 
see where, or just let the games take care of itself? Yeah, well, one game at a time, really. I think that two wins would guarantee us a playoff place, so we want to get those as quick as possible. Um, and then if we do get them and there's games left, then try and win those and finish as high as possible to give yourself a bit of a, an advantage if you finish second and third. So, But first and foremost, two wins is in our mind. You know, we need two wins to, to guarantee ourselves a playoff place, in my opinion, and, and that's all that matters. Well done today, Simo. Another great home win, and uh, speak to you after Monday. Thanks, Ben. Cheers.